At processing facilities such as ethanol plants, feed mills, or rice mills, trains, also known as shuttle loaders, deliver already graded and inspected grain. Grates on the bottom of a hopper car open and the grain drops onto either a chain conveyor or belt conveyor system. The bypass inlet controls the amount of grain hitting the conveyors, thus managing grain flow. As the grain flows through the system, the conveyor picks up the grain from the first bypass inlet and moves it forward on the conveyor. Grain is then discharged onto a belt conveyor and eventually moves upwards via the receiving bucket elevator. Grain delivered to the facility via truck drops from the trucks into unloading pits. The grain unloads directly onto a belt conveyor and moves toward the bucket elevator. This bucket elevator utilizes a staggered three-bucket configuration that discharges into a fully contoured head cap. The grain moves down the spout onto another belt conveyor and into the storage bin. Air is pulled into the bin via fans and warm air and heat are released through venting in the roof. When unloading, the en masse chain conveyor moves the bottom layer of grain while the top layer rides along the moving mass. The bin sweep cleans out the last of the grain. Under the bin, the grain is moved along a chain conveyor system to the distribution system, where the grain moves either into the processing plant or into a working bin waiting to be processed. As the plant needs more grain, it is moved one last time by chain conveyors and bucket elevators from the two storage tanks into the plant.